ass bitch I don't need it, I don't want it Why you trying to get switched? I'm so super size, you like two fries I'm so super size, you like two fries Got the juice, what it do? Cause I'm being a loose Got the juice, what it do? Cause I'm being a loose You're a burner, Tina Turner Bitch, you're about to get rolled I'm a Donna, so Nirvana Bitch, I'm about to strike a just shows the turkey neck. Look at the back of my vest. I have a date. And he will be here shortly. And yes, it's that person. A surprise visit. And I'm excited. I wanted to make a video today about the Trisha Paytas situation. And I'm going to be perfectly honest in that I... I'm completely inspired by Sebastian Soto, who all this weekend did a, a video about Trisha Paytas, and he put his opinion, and he dealt with some of the psychological things, and just really talked about it in a very mature, but real way. So, this particular video isn't going to be fun and lighthearted. We should get the kikiness out now, because I'm going to talk honestly about this, about these allegations that she made up these rumors and accused a man of S.A. and M. And I take offense to that because as of tomorrow, you will find out some things about me if you tune into Instagram and some things that I dealt with a few years ago. As someone who um, has dealt with S.A., I take it very seriously when someone accuses someone of something that did not happen and says that something happened to them that didn't, I have a real issue with that. And I'm going to be honest about that issue. And I'm going to let Miss Paytas have it. So yeah, I want to be relaxed while I make this video. I'm not going to be too long-winded on it because I'm going to say what I have to say and then I'm going to be done with this woman. It's almost making me not like her music. Even though I don't like her, I actually detest this woman now. I actually categorize her with Gabby Hanna. And I actually think she's worse than Gabby Hanna. And I used to not say that. I used to say that um, Trisha didn't have an evil bone. That she was a narcissist, but she wasn't evil. I, I, I disagree now. When you are M or S A, to have someone who makes these claims and it's not true, you're really screwed up. And there is no excuse for that whatsoever. I'm going to keep it real. I think that this woman should be deplatformed. I think she should be demonetized. I think she should go and I think she... I, I, I think when you make allegations like this, not only should it be a civil suit, there should be some type of lawsuit. Um, some criminal charges. And I really do. And, and, and I hate I hate the popo. I, I, you'll find out tomorrow why. But I, I can't stand the popo. Um... But something, something really needs to be done. She, she needs to, you know, having fans get mad at her, isn't, isn't going to do anything. This woman is, is, is missing something up here. And I realized that for the longest time she was Miss YouTube and she owned YouTube and was the queen. I could care less when you, when you come out like that and you make a blatant lie that you something happened to you and it, you, you. An, an innocent man and who's deceased and his family has to live with that? Are you kidding me, you evil trans? You know, I need to calm down because I'm getting heated. Um, I really want to um, be civil and sweet like like Sebastian Soto because he's so class, classy and he really, you, you know, talked about this in, in, a, in a really beautiful way. You know, Rich Lux, um, I, I also was inspired by, he, and he's made a lot of jokes, 
but not those kind of jokes, just about her losing her popularity. She should. If she's, if this woman still has fans, I don't know what to say. I mean, there's just no excuse for that. Do you realize what she has said and what how she accused someone of doing something to her, and it was not true. What? You evil tramp. I don't care if you are YouTube. Demonetize me, bitch. Ooh. I'm so heated. I'm so passionate about this. You just don't understand. She's crazy. Ooh, let me calm down. Let me calm down because I don't want to get demonetized. Um, I don't believe she's in therapy. I believe that Moses is um, her assistant. She pays for all her boyfriends. And you know what? When, when you make money and you want to support your man, I, that's cool. I get it. I, I, I'm like that a lot of times. I, I, you know, I don't have a problem with that, but she just, she's not all there. And she can go and get all the therapy she wants. She really needs to be committed. And, and I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry, but I, I'm, I'm sorry that, you know, if, if anyone is offended by anything I'm saying, like I say tomorrow, tune into Instagram live and you'll find out why I feel this way. I defended her for a for a long for a long time, saying that she's misunderstood. She's just you know she takes on the personalities of those around her. She's just a pathological liar. She's not even a compulsive liar. She's a pathological liar, and I don't like her at all. Um, she's bordering on evil. She's bordering on evil. I don't believe anything the woman says. Nothing. For people who really have experienced SA. I don't know what happened to her as a child, but I don't believe. I don't believe anything happened to her. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't believe anything she says. She's not dealing with a full deck. And um, this isn't the platform for her. She's done everything she can with YouTube. It's time to move on, darling. Not one tear in those um, videos that she made on Twitter, screaming and crying and blah, blah, blah. Not one tear. It's lots of facial expressions and... You know, that's her thing. When she's upset, she, she sits on the floor, eats food, and doesn't wear makeup. <laughs> that makes me scream and cry and scratch out. Ooh, boop, blocked. So, what I think about um, Trisha Paytas, I think she should be deplatformed. I think she should be banned from YouTube. I think that there should be charges brought against her, criminal and civil. And I think that she should be ignored. That would be the greatest thing. Ignore her. Ignore her. Make her go away. Make her go away. And to, to you people who still love and support her, God have mercy on your soul. You do you. But I'm going to do me and not support her one bit. There's a day of reckoning for all of us. Me too. Like I once said, we all reinvent our past a little bit. We all do it. We all do it. There's been a little truth here and there. But not that you were R or essayed. God. So, you know, I'm going to reel this in. I'm on a date. And I'm going to concentrate on my date. Yes, it's that person. And uh, he's gone to the store right now. And um, I'm going to bask in my glow, bask in my happiness. Not worry about Trisha Paytas. Please tune into Instagram Live tomorrow night at 9 o'clock when I am the most truthful I've ever been. In the meantime, because of the content of this video, so I'm not going to end with my usual catchphrase. I'm just going to end with have a wonderful night. Know your truth. And know your worth. And know that you don't have to say horrible things to get attention. You can get attention by being yourself. And I'm going to tell you something. I love you. I do. I love you. And I'm grateful to you. And I think powers that be for you. And I want to tell you that life can be not so great. But the great thing about life is knowing we can get through anything as long as we're together. And I really do mean that. As long as I have you, I can rule the world. Have a good night. I'm going to.